U.S. same old strategy using allies to contain China, Russia shows lack of confidence. U.S. President Joe Biden and his officials are neither innovative nor revolutionary regarding the U.S. strategy toward China and Russia asking allies to spend more resources to assist the U.S. while suffering from a huge mess at home, said Chinese experts as the U.S. and its NATO allies attempt to repair mutual trust damaged by Donald Trump. While old political values might keep them together, concrete interests will divide them again, analysts said on Thursday. European allies are preparing to welcome the Biden administration with a commitment to increase their defense spending and a potential plan to enlist NATO as a counterweight to China, Bloomberg reported. China and Russia are at the forefront of an authoritarian pushback against the rules-based international order, North Atlantic Treaty Organization Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg told reporters in Brussels on Monday. A summit of NATO leaders with Biden, later this year, will be a unique opportunity to start a new chapter for transatlantic relations, he said, according to Bloomberg. Stoltenberg's comments come ahead of a virtual meeting of the alliance's defense ministers this week, in which U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin is expected to dial in for the first time. Ministers will discuss Stoltenberg's proposals for NATO's strategy for the next decade, including an increase in funding for core deterrence and defense activities, Bloomberg reported. Lu Xiang, a research fellow at the Chinese Academy of Social Sciences in Beijing, said that this is what the U.S. and NATO have always been doing over the past few decades, so there is nothing surprising and the so-called authoritarian pushback shows that the West is losing confidence when their poor performance amid the COVID-19 pandemic compares with China's successful and effective prevention efforts and economic recovery.